<laughs> She's making fun of me, damn it. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. What wonder? Hello friends, how are you doing today? I'm good. I mean, how could I not be doing good out here on a beautiful day like today? I got my sweetie pie with me over there. And uh, we're keeping our distance from everybody. Um, I'm making a video today out in the sand dunes. I'm in Southern California. Now, if you're gonna hear as I'm talking throughout the day, uh, you're almost certainly going to hear some off-road vehicles, and quite a few of them, because I'm in a wilderness area, no vehicles allowed, but like a half a mile that way, lots of off-roaders on their motorbikes and uh, what are all those things, razors and whatever, I, all those off-road vehicles, they're over there. Um, so they'll come by in waves and make some noise, so that's what you're hearing if you hear that later, but uh, I'm out here. I got beautiful clouds today, and I'm gonna plan on staying around till sunset and just looking for cool compositions and patterns in the sand. Uh, if you watch my channel, you know how much I love this kind of stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing out here for the afternoon. Hopefully I can make some nice images. I'm already, I'm shooting one right here. That's a beautiful little ridge line up there. Some great shadows, great textures. I'm digging it. So this is kind of first shot of the day here. And then we're just going to be moving around. I'll be keeping my eyes open for a nice sunset composition, but we've got beautiful mountains in the background. Like everything's lining up for a great photo shoot this afternoon. So thanks for coming along. I'll check back in with you in a little bit. Hope you hope you enjoyed the video today. down while I find everywhere you go you just cannot get away from these thin things happy birthday mylar balloons everywhere
coyote tracks. So we've been seeing some coyote tracks out here and we just saw them way out there, like a half a mile away on the ridge over there, unfortunately disappearing. But that would have been cool to try and find a coyote like on one of these cool ridge lines. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen today. Uh, let's see, we got a little cloud cover moving in that's softening the light, which is fine. Um, but it does change the way things look out here quite a bit. While I'm stopped here, let me, I'll show you what I'm working with on gear today. I've got the Fuji GFX 50R with the 45 to 100 millimeter lens. Uh, so that's about a 35 to 80 millimeter equivalent. So pretty versatile out here. And then in this little tiny backpack, uh, I've got my Z7, my Nikon Z7 with the 14 to 30. So if I need to do something really wide angle, I've got the 14 to 30. And then this is like a 35 to 80. If I need telephoto, I'm screwed because I didn't bring a telephoto today. Uh, but I don't think I'll need one unless that coyote comes back, right? Why didn't I think of that? Uh, but anyway, I'm currently shooting black and white, uh, raw plus JPEG here with Acros, red filter, and some increased contrast in the camera for some black and white images out here. Uh, and then of course I've got the raw file that I can make uh, color images as well. So I'm feeling good about it. There's a lot more scrub brush out here than I was expecting. So I'm, you know, having to work a little bit harder to find clean, sandy compositions that I'm digging on. Uh, but there's plenty of space to wander out here. We still have what time is it? an hour and a half till official sunset. So I'm on the lookout for a sunset composition. And I'll check back with you later. the sand dunes today um, hmm. little disappointed in the sunset I wasn't able to find a good composition for sunset so no epic sunset photo today but I did make a few photos that I think are pretty decent I will show you those in just a second when I'm done jabbering away here but thanks for watching. Um, it's great to be out here, enjoying some fresh air, some sunshine, going for a walk, trying to be all artsy fartsy. It's really challenging being out here. There's, uh, you know, there's so much, so many opportunities to make photos, and uh, you know, there's just patterns and shapes and textures and uh, just so many possible uh, compositions out here that it's honestly it's difficult for me. I think a lot of people find it really difficult. But that's uh, I think one of the lures of being out here is knowing that there's like a gem right around the corner, <laughs> right? I don't know that I found that gem today, but they're there. And uh, you gotta be out looking for them to find them and be open to um, what's happening out here. And I really love that. I have a great time looking for those artsy fartsy ones. And um, even when I don't get them, I have a good time. But uh, today I got a few good artsy fartsy ones 
had a great time with Steph out here enjoying ourselves in California before we head back to Wyoming. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to crank them out here a little bit while I have some time to make some videos. So I hope you don't get bored. I'm not getting bored. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one, whenever that happens to be. Have a great night. See ya. <laughs> you making fun of me? I love it. <laughs> She's making fun of me, damn it. All right, see you next time. Oh, and subtle reminder, sand is like the worst thing you can get on your camera equipment. So earlier in the video when I that uh, my tripod fell over and my ball head went straight into the sand, that thing is not happy about that. So uh, I'm going to have to send that back to really write stuff, have them get it all buffed out and cleaned up because the last thing I want is a bunch of sand in there grinding away in there uh, and ruin the damn thing. So um, luckily my camera wasn't attached that time, but uh, let that be a lesson to me. It happens out here. See you next time.